So we want to look at what uh, impedance transformation is. Impedance transformation is uh, how this, the primary the primary is sees the secondary. So basically, your secondary is reflected back into the primary. So we can use this equation, NP or NS is equal to ZP or ZS. Let me do ZS here. So basically, what we're doing is we're this secondary part right here is being reflected back. What is this impedance on this side of the primary on the primary side? And a lot of times when you're doing impedance impedance matching is important because, for example, if you have a uh, a cable coaxial cable or you're doing an antenna or anything that's going to be connected up to uh, transmitting power, you don't want to have impedance mismatching. Impedance mismatching means a loss of power, could actually do some damage to your equipment. So, if we want to use this equation, NP over NS is equal to ZP over ZS, we have a 10 to 1 ratio right here for our, uh, for our turn. So, that secondary, I'm just going to put the secondary voltage right here. Secondary voltage is going to be, well, 120 divided by 10 gives me 12 volts RMS. So I just wanted to get that for now because you'll see what I'll be doing here in a second. So ZP, uh, if we want to find what the impedance, that's ZP, and ZP, Z is in ohms. It's impedance. Impedance is always in ohms. So in this case, ZP is going to be equal to, well, NP is 10 over 1, and then we square it, times it by... ZS. Well, ZS is equal to your RL, which is 100 ohms. So 10 squared is equal to 100. 100 times 100 gives us, so if we actually do that, that gives us about uh, 100 times 100 gives us 10,000. 10 K ohms. So this ZP right here, this ZP, I'm going to get a different marker here. This ZP right here is equal to 10K ohms. So basically this 100 ohms reflected back over here, what this side sees is a 10K ohm resistor, a 10K ohm penis, or 10K ohm penis. So I'm gonna show you that this is actually 10K. We're gonna have to do some math on this, but it may take some little time. So the first thing we wanna do is find IS. IS is secondary, remember the secondary side this is actually not a step up. This is a step down transformer. I should have been corrected there. So this is a step down. So IS is VS is 100 ohms. Where I get VS, VS is 12. And that's where I found, uh, if I take uh, 120 volts RMS on my primary, and this is the primary, divided into my 10 turns, I get 12 volts RMS. That's where I got 12 volts RMS for, uh, from. So if you have any questions about that, again, send me an email, talk to me, uh, reply in comments. So now what I want to do is find IP. IP is VS or VP times IS. Remember that equation I talked about in the past where IS over IP is equal to um, VP or VS? Well, that's how we get this equation right here. So that's 12 volts on 120 gives 120 mils. Gives me 12 milliamps of current. So now to check that this is actually 10 K ohms, the ZP is going to be equal to, and I can actually use some equations here, ZP is going to be equal to VP over IP. So if I take 120 volts RMS, divide it into IP, IP was 12 mils, well, milliamps. Yep, this is going to be right on the right on the money on it. This is going to be about 10 k ohms. So that does check out on it. So this 100 ohms, when it's reflected back, the, the, the input ZP is uh, sees 10 k ohms. So uh, if you have any questions on that, uh, you know, penis transformation, please stop by uh, or email me or leave some comments. Thank you.